Welcome back to the SNES version of Tournament Fighters. So let's do Story Battle. Turtle Combat! Seriously, that, th th those voices. Turtle Combat! Um, so yeah, in that story mode we can only fight as one of the four turtles. The evil Shredder has been driven from New York City. The streets of New York City are calm once again. But a new player is in town, a cold-hearted warrior who will avenge Shredder. Reporter April O'Neil is already missing. The turtles will soon realize that someone else close to them has been kidnapped as well. What are you doing? Ooh. Oh. Oh. Ah, go ahead, Joe. I'm holding your friends. If you want to see them again, uh, you must foul uh, the game, horses uh, of the Foot Clan. Ga game, Joe wasn't done reading that, but whatever. Uh, uh, sorry. What's with Deji. the Shredder Elite? Deji, go ahead. Sorry. He's, he's, he's bad. Uh, they've got April and Splinter. We've got to find them. Trying to go for a Cam Clark thing. Um... I hope you guys can hear. Uh, sorry, this is uh, April. Go ahead. Go ahead Splinter Joel. and I are safe for now. We're in some sort of art museum. I'm able to contact you for some reason. Yes. Uh oh, <laughs> someone's coming. I hope you get this message before. Sounds like she was cut off at the source. We'd better find the art museum in a hurry. You know what this means, right, guys? In this game, we do not have April support, since she didn't say it. <laughs> Good static effects sound there, dwebs. Hey, we found the, uh, the art museum! And even Wait, though- I... Did we forget the parachutes?! And, e and even though I'm playing as Leo, for whatever reason, um... That was Mikey. Yeah, that was Mikey falling, right? Like, ha, huh, have you decided to join with us? Never! Let's fight Metalhead! Uh, I think you mean like it, I think there should be a comma before like metalhead, but <laughs> like like because there's no comma in that sentence. Instead of being, let's fight metalhead, it's it it, it, it reads more like let's fight metalhead, you know. <laughs> so are we teaming up or are we? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're teaming up against you. So start beating yourself up. <laughs> Yeah, you can take it in turns. Pete, punch me a few times, then punch yourself a few times. But yeah, like That's I said perfect. before, like I said before, the story, when you get right down to it, the story mode is just a tournament mode again, just with more a different story thrown in. I mean, I gotta give them credit, it's a neat, like, okay, this definitely feels like a precursor to how story mode in fighting games could go, so, kudos. Mm-hmm. Alright, aside from that, yeah, it's the same uh, overall basic gameplay experience you, we've done before, so there's not... Uh, the, the only real major difference is the cutscenes, really. It's one of those... Uh, okay, uh, yeah, and yes, we are indeed going to have bad endings or good endings depending on the difficulty level, because, again, this was the Konami way back in the 90s. So. I mean... Pretty much the way of games in general, even in the 90s. I'd say, like, you know, we only started Your doing Your friends are that. not here. I'm not even yeah, sure where so where long. here is. What? <laughs> were you able why to... Why are you here? Were you able to pick up April's signal? Yes, we can track them down. Which means that... Which, which, me, which means that coming here was a complete waste of time. <laughs> Hey. Well, they were at the art museum, to we be fair, it's just the, that they got taken. The no stage? The no stage? Yes, like I said, that's the Japan theme stage. Go ahead. You are a ninja turtle! You don't look too strong to me! Let's see who's stronger. Leo, okay, we have- yeah, We totally have time to do this while April and yeah, Splinter are Leo, Yeah, Leo, I mean. not for nothing, Leo, Splinter and- April are, have been kidnapped. Do we really have the time to indulge this woman's curiosity? Uh, yes. So the, con so the context of Apparently. this is, oops, we dropped down here. Oh, a mutant turtle. I want to fight. All right, let's fight. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, 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 of course. Ah, uh, of course. That's right. The turtles in this game don't prioritize like sane people. Of course. Well, maybe Asuka will help them out after they fight her. Uh, don't hold your breath. <laughs> Jeez, I can kind of see now why they just chose to make April a fighter in the Genesis version. I get the feel. I still get the feeling that April's character in the Genesis game was meant to be Asuka, but somewhere along the line, oh, somebody got confused. Something got somebody got confused. 
Well, not Asuka, but, you know, what's her name from TMNT3, but, you know, uh, me they too. changed her to... Me too. Yeah, I, as I assume it was also going to be Me Too in the Genesis game, but, yeah. you know, whereas SNES made her into her own original character, for uh, the Genesis fighting game, they made her April, which would make sense because April also has, like, a headband and some fighting gear similar to Asuka in the Genesis version, if I recall correctly. Although, granted, she dresses more like blaze from streets of rage but you get what i mean sure anyway yeah let's continue um fighting asuka for the sake of indulging her curiosity because you know that we totally have the, the time to be doing this right now anyway I, I actually wanted to address something about the character endings from the last part it's interesting mm -hmm. that that the, the ending they chose for wrath like you know, oh, April, uh, Mr. Uh, April, um, Master Splinter, I want to show, I want to give you some gifts so I can show how, uh, how much I appreciate you, and I'm very glad that I have friends like you. That feels a lot more like a Leo ending than a Raph ending, to be honest but with you. Well, well, Raph's just just a soft of... side. Well, yeah, you know, it's to show Raph's soft side and to show that he knows about the things that truly matter. Well, I get it, but uh, Raph is meant to be kind of a tsundere, kind of, at, uh, a lot of times. So I feel like... Uh... I mean, I feel like Raph was always open with his affection for his family. Like, it was more sort of like outsiders he wouldn't show that, but I feel like he was pretty much, you know, very open about, you know, how <laughs> he definitely cared for April tell that, and his brothers. Tell, tell that uh, to the makers of the first Bay, Bay, Bay movie. <laughs> well, different iteration. But there was that, I mean, I mean, there was that scene in the lift. So. Well, yeah, that's the thing. That, 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 that's the thing, Dwebs. Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm not talking about the turtles doing that musical thing in, in the elevator. I'm talking about how. Okay, well, go ahead, Jola. I underestimated you, and have paid the ultimate price for my foolishness. Did you? I don't know. You seem like you didn't really pay much of a price, but whatever. Hey, we found out the Thunderdome. What? Wait, so we're all- once again, we're already dealing with Shredder early, I assume. Apparently. Oh, never mind. Wait, that's not the fu- Oh, I'm, wait. I'm, go ahead, Dubs. I wonder how turtles taste. The only thing you'll be tasting is bitter defeat. That wasn't even clever. Um... Where was okay, I? Okay, yeah, oh. yeah, 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 yeah. Um, to be fair, yeah, it, it's not the Technodome, so no, Thunderdome does make sense as a concert hall. <laughs> yeah, the two Thunderdome, the two Thunderdomes I know of are in uh, Mad Max, and um, and that hub that uh, the at um, and those arenas that WWE held their events in during the um, during the pandemic. <laughs> yeah, interestingly enough, in the prototype version of the game, it was called Thunder Doom. And it was instead the stage of Donatello, Crondone, and Rat King, as Wingnut wasn't in the early version of the game. Yeah, that's the basic gist of it. Granted, their home stages weren't programmed for it either, so it may have just been a placeholder for them. Let's kick it's a shell. Cool looking stage. And there you go. Also, that woman is wearing legit a Madonna brawl, complete with the cones and everything. Also, what 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 song what 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 is she singing? It looks like she's singing ba 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 ba. Also, why are there T Rexes with crowns? In the, is that the gimmick? Cool. Of, is, well, that the gimmick you know, of, is that the gimmick of the band? Dinosaurs? Maybe. Or you prehistoric know, in general. And T-Rexes were the king of dinosaurs. But Jova the spider saw right <laughs> <laughs> uh, I still I still I, I still don't get why people got so up in arms about uh, one T-Rex being taken out by one spinosaurus. Well, um, okay, it's a plethora of things because um one, the manner of which it was done was insulting. Especially since that's like the only T-Rex we get in that movie now, if it had been like, oh, you know, it's like, oh, this T-Rex is dead, but then another T-Rex comes and shows the Spinosaurus how it is, that's all well and good. 
it, it was just done in a very, very... You're a poor fighter. You're a poor fighter. <laughs> Try the minor leagues, loser. Wow, that's horribly out of character for Leo. Uh, okay, moving on. <laughs> I could get, I could get, I could get Raph saying that, but... No, that's a, that's a Raph line, definitely. Hey, we found Studio 6. You mean Channel 6? Oh, yeah. Also, in addition to the T-Rex... Oh, wait, hold on. Let's see the intro for this one. Hey, Rat King. Oh, Rat King! Look, it's April. Hang on, I'll be there in a minute. Go ahead, those Rat King. <laughs> you seem pretty confident. April isn't going anywhere, and neither are you. You're literally holding her hostage on TV. Good job, mate. Yeah, exactly. And who's gonna stop me? Go ahead, Anyway, Jova. um, in addition to the T-Rex thing, it was also due to the fact that, at the time, paleontologist Jack Horner was trying to push his narrative that, oh, the T-Rex was just a weak scavenger and the Spinosaurus was the real Apex Predator, yo, which has aged remarkably horribly, given later research and all that. <laughs> so... Yeah, like, I got discredited later on, honestly, uh, honestly, yeah. the, the only thing I get from that is, is uh, okay, so the movie is inaccurate. Uh, I still don't see the okay, need oh, to. Oh, oh. Okay, okay, okay. It's like this. Imagine if, per se, you know, you had the main hero of a film series just outright job. And then suddenly it's like, oh, here's this brand new hero series that you will like. Oh, no, better. that I get. That I get, that... Jova, but the T-Rex is not a hero, he's just a predator. He doesn't even have a well, character. Pedro, I, was... Pedro <laughs> I was using that as an analogy, though. Like, I guess. Make no, like, there's no sugarcoating it. The T-Rex was pretty much like the mascot of Jurassic Park up to that point. Like, you know, to the point where it's a T-Rex's head used for the logo of Jurassic Park overall. Mm. Jurassic Park 3 suddenly tried to, like, replace swap the T-Rex with the Spinosaurus in such a disrespectful manner. That's why people really hated that. I guess. Also, um, uh, to be honest, um, the um, the biggest example of... Well, not exactly John. Master person, Karai is not going to be happy. Master Karai? Why would Leo refer to Karai as... Master? This... Because I guess she's in charge of all this? April, are you alright? No. Thank you. I'm fine. But they took Splinter off to some old pirate ship. What? Gr great. Thanks for the info, April. Let's go rescue Splinter. Pirate ship? Sure, why okay. not? Alright. Uh, hey, we found out the pirate ship! Come on, guys, Woo! let's jump out the fleet! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Go ahead, there's. Uh, where is Master Splinter? Who? I've never, I've never that's heard okay. of it, sorry, but sorry. I will enjoy kicking you out of my ship! <laughs> Anyway, as I was, was going to say earlier, um, the um, when it comes to characters, or at least pastiches of characters jobbing out to make the hero look cool, the one I remember the most is from, have you guys seen a film called Triple X? No. I've heard of it. I've, I've, seen, fil I, I've seen films that were rated Triple X, does that count? <laughs> no. No, uh, but basically, um, the beginning of Triple X, um... Is basically it's basically making fun of James Bond because um, oh James Bond by 2002 was old hat and pastiche. Now look at Triple X played by Vin Diesel. He's the real model spy now. Were they <laughs> part of the same universe? Well, no, but um, Sony Pictures, who made the first two movies, eventually released James Bond films themselves. It's all it's always a good sign when a when a property is created out of spite. And then you end up releasing stuff on the property or spiting anyway. I wouldn't uh, say so much out so, of spite. So, so some much things as being made out There have been some things made out of spite. Okay, mm. from what Dwibs described, it doesn't sound like it was made out of spite, but more so about of the studio thinking, well, this is old and tired. People don't want that anymore. Here's the new hotness. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, uh, uh, that's... 
Where is Master Splinter? Oh, actually, one last time. Where is? Master Relax. He isn't here. Go home and cool off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was taking piss off. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, the bitch. Hey, we found out with this. Yeah. The Sky Palace. Sky Mikey. Palace. That's J J that's the thing. That, that's the thing, Dad. I'm playing as Leo, but every time they jump off the blimp, it's all. And there you go, Popo Clone. Hey, brothers, notice any similarities? Cow, Cowabanga, get it? <laughs> anyway, that you were saying about James Bond or something. Else. I mean, the, I, Bill Berg used his ideas for Indiana Jones because he wasn't allowed to make any James Bond movies, and he was just annoyed with that. Indeed. Uh, uh, there he is... has also... Huh? He has also gone on to say that Indiana Jones was like a pastiche of like, you know, those old adventure series. Anyway... They got, they got Sean Connery in the third film anyway. Anyway, Dej, yeah. I want to ask you, what do you think of the wonderful out-of-character lines that Leo has in this game specifically? Uh, you have no, are no match for me, you loser. Uh, and... Extremely and and referring to Karai as quote unquote Master Karai. <laughs> like, you realize, Leah, that you're not part of the Foot Clan, right? I, I mean, there are some people who call Roshi Master, even if they're not their students. Sure, but that's mostly because Roshi is known as a ma as a martial arts master. Uh, and, so and, 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 and and Roshi has the respect of his peers slash friends for being a, a, a well-renowned martial arts master. Whereas, I don't really see Leo calling Karai master. I guess he just figures, oh, she's the new leader of the Foot Clan after to be dealt with Daddy, even though Shredder is one of the fighters. Although, I guess to be fair, in the context of the story mode, we're probably going to fight Shredder on later, so... Yes. That's neat. I mean, uh, I mean, could you imagine if Leo called Shredder Master Shredder? Now that would be egregious. <laughs> okay. Go ahead, Dutch. You're a poor excuse for a turtle. You should concentrate on the other things besides fighting. I don't need any of your sympathy. Splinter and his monster friend are waiting for you in the room. Is, is, is monster friend? Who's who's Never that? Never mind the fact that I'm a clone of you. Go ahead. We found hey. out Mount Olympus. Yes. What? Why are they jumping out? Real, real Why are they jumping out? Why can't you just land? <laughs> the, the, the webs. I ripped the sweats, beauty turtles. Talk is cheap. Let's fight. <laughs> okay, Ryu. Uh, no, that's 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 yeah, yeah, it is Ryu. Uh, so wait, we've got we've got Bebop, uh, Rocksteady, and Deadpool. He's, this is why I. I but Ninja. But yeah, that's why I keep saying that. Like, uh, I, I I might as well be playing Street Fighter. <laughs> um. Yeah. The. Um, you can tell that uh, it's a combination of both the dialogue being very literally translated from the Japanese original, as well as the fact that there's the people who made this game clearly don't know everything about the source material to the point where they get some stuff wrong. <laughs> uh, also, uh, hey Bebop, how you doing? And I guess that's meant to be Rocksteady, but he doesn't look great. Like, that's not... I mean, I can tell it's meant to be a Rhino, yes, but... That's not exactly how Rocksteady's supposed to look like. But whatever. Well, don't you see? It's a more Archie take on him! Oh, is it? Is that is that meant to be Archie Rocksteady? No. I okay. don't know, but I just figure, like, well, they figure, hey, you know, some characters have variations because they're Archie, so... Mm -hmm. Might as well go with the flow, I guess. Indeed. Almost done with war. Damn it, I want my no damage one. <laughs> there you go, perfect. Yeah, yeah, never mind how I rebound like 50 times. <laughs> <laughs> Time travel. Go ahead. Hey. Crawl back to your master, war. Does war even have a master? I don't oh, even and know. Just <laughs> to say. Hey, we found out 
the metal work. Oh, shit, I pulled work? it out of the blade. <laughs> I will never get old. You see, it would be extremely funny that if Shredder was on the <gasps> one piece. I'm so happy to see you again, Turtles. I wish to extract my revenge upon each and every one of you. Uh, Dead. We intend to leave with him. Okay, then. Oh, Dead. Gotta work on those line reads. But anyway, um, yeah, Shredder is uh, definitely the second hardest uh, fighter in the game, which makes sense. Um, Wait, remember, is he? Is he Vega? Kind of. <laughs> what was pronounced? What was pronounced Vega? Yeah, isn't it Vega that you pronounce it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Vega. I just wonder it was pronounced Vega, but yeah, like I made it's Vega. I've got that mainly from like Savio Vega from WWE. <laughs> that doesn't mean Selena Vega. No Savio Vega. Oh god, maybe they should have picked better coloring for these guys' pants. It looks like they're bottomless. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Deji, did you watch? Um, I know you didn't. I know you weren't really around to watch wrestling in the nineties, but did you watch Backlash earlier this year? No. I will say. Well, to, while he was there. To give some credit, I will say they did pick a good arena for Shredder because you know, the metal works. There's foot soldiers in the background. This feels very Mirage-ish. So. So there you go. Um, yeah, but the thing about Shredder is that Shredder defends a lot. Like he, he's constantly blocking your attack. So he's so one of the, for an opening. It's what he's one of those annoying um, fighting game guys who just block all the time and just play the long game. I guess. Does he the M Bison to... of the game? Uh, he does not fly, but sure, if you want to go for that, you can. In, see. in terms of his play style and. Sure, I guess I guess you can say that. Also, I love. Uh, I, mean, I also said earlier when they were on the blimp, it would be extremely funny that if it was Shredder on the blimp, he kept throwing Mikey as a reference to Fresh Prince whenever Uncle Phil throws Jazz out of the house. <laughs> yes. Yes. Love that. Oh, trust me. Like one of the best things is taking audio from from both TMNT. And fresher Prince of Bel Air, and put them in each other's, <laughs> like having the Shredder say things from Uncle Phil, and having Uncle Phil say things from the Shredder. That's just hilarious. I love how the jazz running thing was legit just the same clip. Like you can absolutely tell. Yeah, it was always funny for how it fit. That's great. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. Obviously, the more common joke people make is that uh, he's scarier as Uncle Phil than he is as a Shredder. <laughs> Poor Will. Yeah. You got decked on even when it wasn't Tonight! Assault. Well, tonight, I dine on nephew soup! Nah, that doesn't work. Ew. <laughs> anyway, go ahead. Alright, I'll be Splinter as usual. <clears throat> My sons, welcome. You cannot defeat the genuine enemy. Genuine enemy? Karai, with your current skills. You must do much training to advance your skills. I'm pretty sure that's Dude, not right. Karai is literally Shredder's daughter. Like, so, hold makes on. her more dangerous than Shredder? So, hold on. Context. So, hold on. Hold on. In the tournament mode... You're, you're okay. Yeah. Hello, my son. You will soon face your true enemy. Master Kar Why are you calling her Master? You don't respect her. Whatever. We'll face many superhuman powers. She has superhuman powers? Well, yeah, that, I guess oh, that technically wow. is true. Mm -hmm. Yes. All like, right. I guess they call her Master Cry because she is the master of the Foot Clan, hey, so that's that probably... The Metro Train. The Metro yeah, Train? Like this. It's like referring to Jack Sparrow as Captain Jack Sparrow, even if you're not the member of his crew. It's just, you know... Selling that he's on top. Okay, that's actually a pretty cool pose. 
Uh, th- you are Karai, Master? <laughs> yes, indeed! I'm so sorry to put an end to your pitiful little existence. You could exist longer in this world if you were to join me. With our combined strength, we can end this destructive conflict and bring uh, order. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I so, will so this- fun fact, her Poe's animations, Shredder's Revenge takes that for, for her. Mm-hmm. Most of her moveset set in that game is based off this. Yep. And I'll admit, this is actually a pretty cool looking stage. Like, the train going by quickly, the new 6 channel filming the whole thing. Um, is this also her stage in the tournament mode? Yes. Neat. Um... Where was I? Yeah, yeah. um... Okay. I, I, I have to... Uh, okay, I have to say. Um, so let me get this straight. In the tournament mode, April refers to Karai as the real enemy. Now, in story mode, Splinter refers to Karai as the genuine enemy. So which is it? Is is she the real enemy or is she the genuine enemy? <laughs> like, Those are synonyms. I know, it's just that... Well, I mean, well, actually, to I mean, be fair, when, when you say genuine, you're usually referring to trying to distinguish something true, tr- true from fake. When you say real, oh, this is the real enemy that you have to fight. Like, as in, like, this I is mean, the one that you have to and, fight, I guess. Real and genuine are typically used for similar scenarios in that regard. They can also mean the same thing, too. I just wish they would be consistent with the terms. I mean, April and Splinter talk differently, so it makes sense that they would use different syntax. I guess. Anyway, round two. And yeah, yeah. Like I said, I actually do dig this stage. It actually does look pretty cool. I guess. Personally, I prefer Karai's Dojo from the Genesis version. But, um... Yeah, but yeah, like in the Genesis game, Karai is fast as fuck, uh, and she'll damage you a lot, so... Okay, almost done, and there we go. That looks like it hurt. There it is. You, you done it, Leo. You defeated both Shredder and Karai. Father and daughter. We've done it at last. We've defeated Karai and all of her minions. Right, was Shredder was a minion. <laughs> <laughs> you have done well, my sons. Should we have just left her on that train? However... You must continue your training. You left oh. Karai on the train, you fools. You may never know when the evil will come again. <laughs> when the evil will come. But we left her on the train. She can't be of any harm. <laughs> uh, okay. So if you defeat, so if you beat the game uh, in the highest difficulty, there's other um, um, dialogue. Thank you for coming, my sons. Yet all is not well. The real master awaits you. Be careful, my sons. Karai is not an average fighter, but she is a brilliant scientist. She yeah, possesses yeah. superhuman powers like none other. I'm sorry, that was just too good. I couldn't resist. Yeah. Care- careless, my sons. <laughs> so, uh, I, I, again, uh, you may never know when the evil will come again. So, yeah, if you defeat, uh, if you beat on the hardest mode, go ahead, uh, Jova. Thanks, guys. I owe you one. And kiss them. Thank you, especially. Ah, uh, uh, <laughs> I get it. <laughs> and that's how she got Salmonella. What's wrong? What's tur- wrong with a hug or a high five? Because the turtles are horny for her, I guess. Please I mean, don't. I already told you that Michelangelo is horny for Chun Li. Hmm. And apparently Chun Li might be horny for him back, according to that comic. I mean, I or at the very think. least. Or at the very least, the art, which gives her a lot of the is looks there, that... Is there, any, is there any implication in that particular continuity that in that version, chun is a mutant? No. No. But then, she does... Then no, she does, please. They very much have her flirt back and forth with them, which is weird, because ain't chun more with Ryu anyway? No. And right now in the comics. I find it interesting how in this game we have Karai be designated uh, uh, be designated uh, as uh, not an average fighter. 
Um, whereas in the Genesis version, we have April, who's meant to be a brilliant scientist, but she's actually a brilliant fighter uh, in the Genesis <laughs> game. So, um, um, interesting. I'm curious. Mm -hmm. uh, did this uh, game uh, make Karai... Sorry, did... Um... Did the Kawabunga Collection version make Karai playable like how they did with the Genesis? Uh, uh, yes, uh, Karai can be played with a code, yes. But uh, you can uh, uh, use the enhancements menu of the Kawabunga Collection to auto automatically activate that code. You don't have to enter any kind of button and punts. Um, I wonder what they do for her edge. There you go, see? Here's, here's, she here you go. here's a demonstration of uh, Karai fighting in other arenas uh, as a result of that of set code. For example. I guess I guess that code was always there then, otherwise this makes no sense since you know normally you think that she's exclusive to the train section. It's a common thing in, in fighting games, especially this era, to have the, the boss characters be uh, have you have to unlock them via some kind of secret code or some shit like that. So That said, did they not give Karai her own ending for, you know, tournament mode, I guess? No. Uh, if I remember correctly, you can only play with Karai in the multiplayer mode, I think. Well, I guess to be fair, it makes sense because story-wise, she, she's meant to be the villain. So I guess to be fair, how would an ending with her even work? I mean, we have clone turtles. Just say that there's a clone Karai for the final. <laughs> well, boss. well, that, you your training will never end. Continue your training so you may defeat all challengers. Fuck off! I'm like well, I, I'm. Right. I thought this was the highest difficulty. Fuck off, Konami! I'm I'm tired of you constantly telling me that you're never good enough. Fuck off, Konami! Fuck off! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Get better at it, you pleb. Jesus Christ, Konami! When is enough? When is enough, Konami? When? <laughs> well, good news, Pedro, because this was the last TMNT game they ever made. Uh, well, okay, okay, the, until the 2003 series. Yeah, remember, the Konami also made the 2003 show games. Um, but yeah, that was the Super Nintendo version of Tournament Fighters. Deji, thoughts? Really fun, I, and I technically own a physical copy of the game somewhere in the house. But I never really played it, so uh, when I eventually get this collection, I want to play it. Mm-hmm. So I'm guessing you prefer the Super Nintendo game over the Genesis version? Yeah, for, for, from what I've seen from a mechanical standpoint mm -hmm. and the aesthetics. But the locations of the Genesis version does look great. And I am kind of bummed out that Casey and April aren't playable in the Super Nintendo version. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can't understand mm -hmm. April not being playable because they're going for 80s April. Where she's not a fighter. That I can get. But why is Casey not here? Weird. Uh, Casey's in the NES version. So you'd think he would be in this version too. But I guess not. Alright, uh, Dwebs. I think it's um, it's, it's, it's alright. I mean, I mean, the story is hilariously... Um... <laughs> hilarious out of character moments, including the turtles just recklessly throwing themselves out of their blimp like 50 times <laughs> and dying. Um, and, uh, well, yeah, that, that's the funniest part. And then there's all, like, but again, I could do without April um, doing that to Bob any turtle, really. What the kiss? Yeah. Oh yeah, no. Again, what what's wrong with a hug or a high five or something? I'm just. Uh, I, I I will never understand uh, why writers hey, keep doing this. Yes. Would Joe you Hunt. say that April is the Princess Peach to the Turtles is Mario? Well, at this point, that well, <laughs> I I don't think anyone ever doubted that. <laughs> so you know what I'm referencing, right? In yes, the ref yes, I know what you're referencing. Yes. But hmm. hey, you know, that's probably why they had her kiss him, because, you know, Peach gives Mario a kiss. Yeah, they're operating on that. Okay, I can understand this being a thing in the video games, because they're operating on that typical video game mentality. Oh, Peach did it, so let's have April do it too. I get that. But yeah, bro, that's, that's, it's, it's, it's alright for me. Sure. Game, I mean. But I can, But when you're doing that in the TV shows, that's when I have to really question it. Uh, but Jova, go ahead. What do you think of this one? Yeah, I like it. I think there are actually aspects of it that I do prefer to the Genesis one. I definitely prefer the graphics overall. I like how they're more clear and, you know, the SNES being bigger allows us to get more detailed looks at the characters. 
Conversely, I will admit that some of the art style is not as good as the Genesis version, more so in the backgrounds. That being said, I'm fine with the stages. They are very Turtles-esque, I'd say. I'd say the main issue was just that they didn't always fit with the character that they centered them on. That said, Karai's stage is absolute boss, and yeah, I do dig how, at least across these two fighting games, they definitely did help make Karai more of a thing for the uh, typical Turtles audience who may not have known her from the Mirage games. And hey, it's a pretty good showing how she is the lead uh, bad guy. Although it's interesting in either the Genesis or Super Nintendo version. It's either, hey... She'd made Krang her foot, soldier, so now he works for her, showing Daddy how it's done. Or she made even Daddy Dearest work for her now. Unless this is all a ploy that, yeah, okay, either he gets to beat the turtles or she gets to beat the turtles. Yeah, I find it interesting how, according to this game, Shredder is a minion of Karai. <laughs> <laughs> wow, has the daughter surpassed the father? Well, okay, going off of Shredder's revenge, maybe this is buying into her secret ambitions to truly rule the Foot Clan, and this game is kind of a bet between her and Shredder to see who can beat the Turtles. Yeah. Well, remember, if I remember, well, remember, like Deji, Deji already told us that in the Mirage comics, Karai was not Shredder's daughter. So the Karai we're seeing here is meant to be Mirage Karai, who's not necessarily affiliated to Shredder. So oh, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. But remember, though, this isn't this taking cues from Archie comics, technically, though. That is true, but I'm assuming. The, the Karai we see in these games is meant to be Mirage Karai, probably. Uh, remind me, Dej, was Karai already in the Archie comics by this point? I'm checking right now. Although, although counterpoint, though, like Dej said, the, the Karai in Shredder's Revenge takes cues from this nope. Karai, so... Oh, she wasn't. Well, so, there you in go, that then. case, I do, want, I do think, though, that this may have just been their own take, because keep in mind, this is like... 80s turtles by the looks of the turtles in april so by that logic we can assume that this is a different karai and since by the time of shredder's revenge which more or less took cues in this maybe we can imply that that's the same one like i guess what we can say is that it's up in the air whether or not this karai is shredder's daughter like we can at least say that she has a connection to shredder like either way it's kind of weird that karai is suddenly the head honcho Basically, but I digress, yeah. though. Like, overall, I'd say this fighting game does its job well. It is certainly a TMNT fighting game with crisp animations, neat moves, and a gripping enough story. Silly as that story <laughs> can get. Uh... You two can play as the Turtles as they beat each other up to show each other who's the best while winning tons of money and absolutely trash-talking each other. Indeed. Isn't that great? But uh, yeah, um, as for me, like I said, this is a really good game. I'm not trying to take that away from it. Uh, I just think the, the the Genesis game, to me, feels a lot more TMNT-ish uh, because of the Dimension X aspects. And of course, and like I said, I actually really dig the idea of the plot of the Genesis game where Krang makes mutant turtle clones to fight the turtles um, again i'm surprised we don't see that more often in this franchise um because it feels like a no, it, it, feel, it feels it feels like a no-brainer doesn't it um we have had evil turtles in some sense here or there but never clones i think like okay, look look uh, remi it reminds uh, a bit of um the roddy the first roddy rough boys episode from season one of pop off girls right uh where Mojo Jojo creates the Rider Rough Boys because, as he puts it, he, uh, he has to fight fire with fire. You know, it's a very typical thing we see with cartoon villains where they create an evil doppelganger version of the hero to fight him. Like, it's a very old cartoon trope. And I'm surprised we never saw that in TMNT because it feels okay, like okay, something okay. that you would, yeah, it feels like something that feels fit right at home in a franchise Actually, as weird as this. I'm looking it up on the wiki, and apparently the following has had clone concepts. There was the Mirage comics, okay, the Image then. comics, the IDW comics, the 1987 series, the Mighty Mutanimals TV pitch. 
God. <laughs> the next mutation series, the 2003 series, the 2012 series, the 19. Oh, the 2003 the series had mutant clones of the turtles. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Fast Dark... forward. Don't worry. We'll they... get. Okay. Yes. Sure. Yes, 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 yes. There were the Dark Turtles and the Mutant Shredder clones overall. Um, and even the 2003 video games uh, had it with the Bishop clones and the Ultimate Slayer. And the 2012 series, which had uh, an April O'Neil clone. <laughs> well, so, again, the, the Genesis version of this game has a, an April clone. So... <laughs> So, yeah, to be fair, clones have been relatively used. In mm -hmm. regards to the 1987 one, that was apparently a bunch of clones made from, well, a clone that Donatello made of himself, which, of course, I guess went evil and made other clones. I don't remember the exact specifics, but that's my general recollection. Mm -hmm. Another thing that I actually do will say I prefer in the Genesis version over this is the soundtrack. I do like the soundtrack of the Genesis version. It, it makes good adv take good advantage of that awesome... Uh, ninety synth aspect of the Genesis sound chip, whereas uh, this game's soundtrack sounds fine, but nothing particularly memorable to me. Um, don't get me wrong; I'm not saying you need to have the TMNT theme in here. The Genesis version didn't have it either. Um, but although, it won although to be fair, it did have the Heroes in a Half Shell Turtle Power bit, so there is that. <laughs> um, Uh, yeah, like, it's one of those things where it's just like, this is the better game, mechanically speaking. I just wish the presentation was a... Uh, embrace the source material just a bit more. Uh, go full weird. Uh, this is a, this franchise is at its best when it embraces its weirdness. Um, so, which is something that I appreciate in the Genesis version. for uh, So, pretty cool. All right, everybody, that's it. We're done with that. But there is one more game in the Cowboy Collection, the game that everybody forgets that it even exists. The NES version of Tournament Fighters. So How let's... funny would it be if that's the one that doesn't have Karai in it? The, no, it does not have Karai. Uh, the NES version is oh. just the, the NES version is just the four turtles, Hothead, Shredder, and Casey. That's it. And the story is just Shredder challenges the turtles to a to a fight in the streets. Just cause. Spoilers? Question mark. There's what's that to spoil? There's no plot, but whatever. Let's we'll see if for ourselves um, in the, in the to the next time, everybody, where we finish the Kalbanga collection once and for all. See ya. See you then. Bye.